be in service to the, the quest. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate in that it's, it's, it's like a, mo a moving storyline, you know, by its nature of the quest, they're going to go out and find new stuff. And certainly in season two, we're, we're back on the sort of, season two, as, as a slight digression, but season two is a case of thinking, crikey, we are, we've actually achieved relatively little. Um, and we need to, we need to, you know, let's, let's recalibrate and get, get back on, back, get back on track. So, yeah, with, with, uh, given that they're on a quest, given that we've established there's potentially every other Transformer out there, um, there's lots of opportunities to have new, new additions to the crew. And that's the other thing I wanted to do is, there'll be a bit of a shake-up after, after remaining light. You're going to have some new crew members, um, certainly post Dark Cybertron as well. Um, you know, they'll still be old favourites, but to keep things fresh, we're going to try and um, bring some other people into the mix as well. story itself, you know, by the very end you, you, you know, you learn that there is more to him than, than was apparent and that he isn't, he isn't, he isn't just, you know, a, a character of low intelligence, you know, he does Fire have... Bad yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was right on that, on that instance, I have to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, he's, he, he's, he's a very, very skilled surgeon and he's got other, he's got other sort of abilities that may not be immediately apparent, but um, I must admit, actually, I, I do try and be faithful to the to, to, the, to, the, to the core of the, of, of the characters, you know, and the, the, the G1 character. But I, as you know, I'm not, I'm not beyond sort of picking and choosing a bit. And if I feel that in service to this particular story, um, and if the character hasn't been used in I did W before, I've got a bit of free reign in terms of what I want that person to be. Are you? Yeah, cool. you, you have a tailgate look about you. We are getting close to the five minute mark. Okay, I will, I'll shorten my answers. Um, I'll be quick. Uh, the really quick part, uh, Tailgate, I mean, someone, I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. As far as I know, he's the only member of the crew that his eyes do stuff, like they bug out or get yeah. teary. Is that just a stylistic choice, or is there something different actually happening with it? He, um, if you go back to the UK Transformers comics, uh, there's a story called Robot Buster, and um, yeah, the, uh, Frenzy, I think it is. Frenzy gets, gets shot or injured by, by Buster. And um, he's so angry, he's, 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 you get that sort of phosphorus effect on his eyes. And it was explained, it was explained, you know, these microfilaments over the eyes are sort of giving off this effect. And um, I guess I'm just steeped in that sort of TFUK background. I remember saying in the script to um, Nick, it would have been, I think, for a C1, um, yeah, can, can, you, can we have that effect for Tailgate? As, as an indicator that he's panicking or that he's agitated. And that's where it came from. And actually, it has become an exclusively a, a tailgate thing now to do with his panic attacks. And um, Alex, Alex had been running with that recently. I mean, there's, there's been this sort of like tails, like you know, speeding, speeding cars type thing. It's like really, uh, really going for it. But um, it's sort of, and also I think it's it's blended a little bit into this sort of slightly anime style of, of, of doing things as well that, that, that lends itself to that. So um, it's a unique, it's a tailgateism. Uh, the other quick thing was a follow-up to stuff that came earlier. I love how you brought in these things about interpersonal bonds, the, the offering of the innermost energon, the term conjuncts in Dora. I don't want this to sound like I'm thinking negatively when you were IDW. Was there any hesitation by editorial before you had everyone actually come out and say, I love you? Um, to, 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 their, to their credit, no, I, I didn't. I anticipated, I anticipated um, a, a debate, and as, as John would tell you if he was here, um, when I handed in, I, I, I knew for a long time I wanted those three words in it, um, because that's that's the that's the climax, and that's the, that's the, the, the finale, if you like, to that to that relationship. Um, as far as we're as, as far as we are there, reading it and discovering it. And so, at the end of the script, issue 16 script, I, I literally did a page setting out my my position, why I think this is a good thing, why I think why I think um, you know, I was entirely preemptive because I hadn't had anything to make me think they were going to say no. But nonetheless, sort of got in there first, and, it, and thankfully it was. Um, it didn't prove necessary. Um, John was supportive, and Michael Kelly at Hasbro, you know, absolutely hats off to Michael because he was he's been very supportive. And I and I do genuinely feel that we're being encouraged to to, to go new places and explore new things. So, like, more than me, I is a huge beneficiary of that attitude. 